Hello, my name is Alex Faust. I am the president and coordinator of St. Francis Community Developers and its 23 partners in region number six, Friends of St. Francis. These 23 partners have been working together for the last um, 10 years and we have been trying to empower the residents at the local level. Region 6 where we function mainly is the second largest um, populated region out of our 10 administrative region in Guyana and St. Francis works the length and breadth of the region. These organizations referred to as Friends of St. Francis have been working for the past 23 years across the region to deliver services of empowerment and support to ordinary grassroots individual who wants to contribute to national development. Sometime last year we decided that we would have worked along with the United Nations on the EPTSI project for the purpose of scaling up our activities as it relates to enhancing public trust and the inclusion of all stakeholders to contribute to our noble task of community development activities. A project was conned and developed and it's titled Rescue, Reforming Education Skills and Capacity for ultimate entertainment. Um, this project will be um, located across the region at nine locations, namely New Amsterdam, Firish, Port Maroon, um, Limnair, Blackbush Poulin, Mybicuri, um, Eversham, Kildonan, 58, and uh, Amerindian Reservation of Oriala. The project seeks to empower people across the different divides, such as youths, the adults, um, educators, and all persons who participate at various level of development. The main focus will be towards youths, so that they can not only be considered the future, but they can take their rightful place in community development. There are a number of areas, therefore, that Project Rescue seeks to involve the youth. And some of the things that we will be doing on the EPSI project with the UN is capacity building. Our capacity building exercise will encompass 11 major training, which is inclusive of monitoring and evaluation, capacity building in finance, um, public relations, um, mobilization of community, microcredit, governance and um, of democracy, and how do young people fit into that from a very early age. We will also be doing job preparation, training to ensure that all our stakeholders, especially the nine groups that are implementing various aspects of this project, can be geared with the necessary capacity that they are weak in to support their community. We also will be providing life skills training. The life skills training have various um, component and the major one is to have 99 dialogues across the region to address many concerns that people are not comfortable to talk about such as conflict resolution um, how do young people participate in community development, especially male participation? It will also be dealing with information technology and how it can contribute to our overall development and sustainability. In short, what um, the first aspect of this program will be doing is to bring young people, senior counterparts, and person from all um, stakeholders together at one venue so that they can address issues that affect their community. We call them community dialogue and 99 of those will be taking place. We also intend under this project to prepare young people for the world of work in terms to prepare them for jobs. There are many times when young people leave the educational institution, they are not up to standard as it relates to responding to various job situations. This project will provide 
an environment to prepare young people for various career that is considered non-traditional and that will help them to be effective in Ghana we would normally say hit the ground running so that they can be able to deliver there will be a number of vocational training that will be offered by this project that is considered non-traditional this is due to the fact that after a number of community dialogue and consultation the various community across our region have identified areas that need various forms of training we have an upsurge in tourists with the completion of the burbies river bridge into our region and many people are calling for training in the hospitality industry so that we can respond to this new area of our region's development we also will be training young people in areas such as hammock making and kufa an Amerindian craft because this is an area that have been neglected for very long and there is a large market for Amerindian craft for persons who are visiting our country and our region. One of the major area that we will be concentrating on is what Guyana is um, in a position to deliver to the world and that is agriculture. The project will be establishing four greenhouse nursery that have the capacity to generate um, germinate um, over 5,000 plants every um, eight weeks and we will be producing these plants and now we have recently secured an um, additional 20 acres of land so that um, single parents who um, do not have job opportunity because of the limited job situation can be able to utilize uh, um, agriculture as a form of income so we are doing two things to them we are having nine daycare center which take care of the children of the single parents so that we can take care of their children in a safe environment thus giving them an opportunity to go to work and they will be working on the farm in a cooperative system and the income from that will be utilized to help them to take care of their family responsibilities. This agriculture activity will create a revolution in the agriculture sector because of the various type of seedlings we hope to germinate and then offer them to schools which will use them towards their training in their agriculture department and we are working in collaboration with a number of secondary school and the government technical institutions and the farmers across the region especially the small farmers those who are not able to um, read and write properly we will be working with them by providing the relevant training opportunity which will be more practical than theory and then we will be providing them with basic um, tools and exposure such as visiting the Guyana School of Agriculture, um, NARI and all the government institution that provides uh, training opportunity and manufacture industry. In addition to um, the agriculture activity will be complemented by rearing over 2,000 chickens and um, a ducks so that um, whilst the crop are growing they can be involved in poultry production we are also talking to the food and agriculture department for the purpose of the development of um, inland fishing and we hope that with those with the inland fishing the development of that and the poultry and agriculture we will be able to create a revolution in terms of agriculture for the average and small man um, there are other areas that we know that we have to work in and that is counseling and we'll be providing counseling training with professional counselors and sports because we know that sports mobilize young people and the Rosaltong Youth and Sports Club that is working with us have been able to become the most outstanding sports club in our country 
due to its mobilizing ability producing national and international cricketers. So in short, I can safely conclude that the project is responding to needs at the community level and working with various stakeholders in the private sector, the NGOs, government agency, and all the residents who want to participate in this unique project of bringing together resources, both human and educational, for the purpose of capacity building and living up to the project name of reforming education and capacity for ultimate empowerment.